him in his own neighborhood. 16 WAPT's Ann Parker is live where it happened. Ann, you spoke to both sides. Thomas Ball tells us he was taking a walk down this street around midnight Monday when he noticed flashing blue lights. I'm walking. What now? I'm walking. I see that. You live around here? I do. Thomas Ball says that was a recorded conversation between him and a Clinton police officer Monday night. What's your name, man? I'm breaking the law. Huh? I'm walking. Yes, sir, you sure was. Chief Mike Warren says they stopped Ball because he was walking in a high crime area in the middle of Briar Mead Street, violating a city ordinance. If you have a sidewalk available, you should walk down the sidewalk, not the city, not the, not the street. Ball says he told police twice the reason he was in the street was to avoid a dog. I apologized immediately, so I had no knowledge of the fact that because I'm in the street that I'm breaking the law. But claims there's more behind the story. I don't feel it had anything to do with the sidewalk. I feel like it was racially motivated. I feel that it was because uh, I'm a young black man walking down the street, and uh, obviously I fit the description of all that he deemed to be necessary to stop me. I don't think the officer even knew, because I think he said when he first saw him, he had a hood, hood up, and he was walking away from it, so he didn't know if it was black or white. There's no racial profiling. Period. The chief says things could have turned out differently that night. If the gentleman would have asked the questions as they were, or excuse me, answered the questions as they were asked, it probably would have been a very brief and uneventful encounter. And I felt like I was being harassed. During that period of time when there were two officers standing there questioning me about me being on the sidewalk, somebody in Clinton needed their help. Ball did end up getting a ticket for walking in the street. This is something that police tell us is a small citation and really isn't that big of a deal. But Ball tells us he plans to go to court to fight it. Live in Clinton, Ann Parker, 16 WAPT News.